Hello everyone and welcome back to Age of Nagash which is of course a channel dedicated to Age of Sigma and in this video we are talking about more news on the Dominion box set and really just more news on Warhammer Age of Sigma. Again this is a new Warhammer news article from the community website that's gone up. I haven't read through it yet like I usually don't do because that means that I can share my reaction and my excitement and generally learn at the same time as you guys learn if you are watching this video and you haven't seen the article yet so let me know your thoughts when we read through it but also if you've already seen the article let me know your thoughts in the comments of this video as well of course it'd be great to hear them so what it does say though is the dominion brings mighty paladin to the mortal realms none shall pass these stormcast eternal eliminators so all i can tell you about the Eliminators as they look very, you know, very survival. I haven't read through that thing yet, but they are the one unit from the box that I don't really like the look of, to be honest with you. So it'll be interesting to see if the uh, rules will swing me over. But it says the new edition of Warhammer Age of Sigma is launching very soon with the best Warhammer Age of Sigma box set ever, Dominion. We've taken a look at the fantastic rank and file units that make up Dominion's armies. Now it's time to focus on the heavy hitters of the Stormcast Eternals. So just to quickly say that when it says um, Age Sigma's, what was it, the best Warhammer Age Sigma box set ever, have they said it's the best Age Sigma box set ever? Because I know they said, you know, it's the best Age Sigma that's coming, it's the best edition, but I don't know if they actually said the box set is. But something that we should do at some point, maybe not on this video, but another one, is we'll count how many times they say that best something about Warhammer Age Sigma in one of these things. Like, literally, I don't know why they have a hashtag saying, you know, new AOS. They should just say a best AOS. I mean, that's literally what they keep repeating to us. Um, but it says, it's obvious if, you're, um, if you've met an Eliminator in combat because the Hulking Sigmarite armor tends to blot out the sun. And, you know, they shall fight in the shade or whatever the line was. But it says, they are huge, steadfast warriors that love to hold ground and then hit back hard. They're, sorry, very hard. Let's take a look at how they operate on the tabletop. It sounds a bit dirty for this, but anyway, so it goes. You might, uh, so you might remember that we recently described the Thunderstrike armor as slender and egomic, or however that is. Um, the bulky plate of the Eliminators is the exception that proves the rule and their stellar save is thanks to the heavy layers and those massive shields. So they've got a four inch movement, two plus say bravery seven, three wounds. Bravery's all right. Um, the three wounds is nice, but we expect that, you know, from like a paladin sort of guy. Um, the four inch move is incredibly slow, but that's how slow paladins move. So a more bulky paladin, you know, I wouldn't expect it to be any better, but you know, hopefully there's, you know, teleport and shenanigans and stuff being storm class eternals, but you have got a two plus save, which is I don't know if there's anything else in the Stormcast Eternal but with a 2 plus save. If there is, you guys can let me know that. You know, when I mean a 2 plus save, is there anything else like it? I mean a generic 2 plus save. You know, it starts at 2 plus unmodified. I know you can make things better than that, but that means you can make these guys have a 1 up save, presumably, uh, with the Stormcast. So that is pretty damn survivable. But if they don't have a Mortal Wound save, you're just going to break through them really easily if you've got Mortal Wound potential in your army, which you should do. So then we go on to a weapon that is the uh, Metronic um, Hammer. So Meteoronic Hammer probably was. But anyway, so one inch range, three attacks, three to hit, three to wound, minus one ren, two damage. Um, I presume there's probably going to be a special ability or something. Because, yeah, that's all right. But, you know, if these guys are, I don't know, 160 points for free, let's say, it's kind of, I mean, that's just a guess, but, you know, they're slow. If they haven't got more wind save, they'll die. You can see where they're coming from by saying they're really survivable and they can hit pretty hard, but you know, we'll we'll wait and see before I, I give any more judgment, shall we? So it says with a two plus save and three wounds each, they are hard to kill, unless you have multiple wounds. Um, even in small units, send them into the thickest fighting and watch a minimum sized unit like the three you get in the Dominion box set. Okay, so you can take them into the units of three. Fantastic, that's great to hear by how this sentence is laid out. That's great, so they've got the right unit sizes, hopefully for the box. It says, um, uh, so like the the three you get in the Dominion box set, dish out 
10 very solid attacks because, you know, it's free each, which makes nine, but the champion's bound to have an extra one. Uh, the unit champion throws an extra... Okay, yeah, that's fine. Didn't need to explain that. Um, but then it says Stormcast Eternal's favourite trick is to drop out the sky during the battle, to take an objective or hound the enemy backline. A limited special rules makes them particularly devastating in this case, especially if they make a successful charge. So... We've got an ability here, which is a blazing impact. So let's see what this does. So after this unit is set up on the battlefield for the first time, roll a dice for each enemy unit within 10 inches of this unit. On a 3+, plus, that unit suffers D3 mortal wounds. In addition, you can reroll charge rolls for this unit if it was set up on the battlefield in the same turn. Yeah, that's fantastic. So like I said, these guys are incredibly slow movement. You don't want to deploy them, you know, in the de uh, deployment phase. You want them to deep strike later. Um, and I was just saying that purely on based on how bad their movement is. And then you're going to get a benefit here by doing mortal wounds to the enemy. On a free up, you should at least do it to like one, you know, enemy unit. Uh, you know, there's three enemy units there. You should do it to, on the average, to two of them. So that's good. Um, but the main thing here is that reroll in charges. Just bear in mind that when these guys set up, they're probably nine inches away from the enemy. And if you do like a couple more wounds to an enemy unit that you want to charge, they're probably going to take away a casualty or two, you know, the two that were closest to you. So it might have made your charge now harder to get. So just bear that in mind um, because you can't choose who you want to do the more wounds when you do the charging, um, when you come down on deep strike and stuff. So just bear that in mind. Um, but yeah, that, that, that is a good ability. So I like that. Um, it then says mortal wounds bypass the enemy save roll, which means they are extremely useful for dislodging powerful units. I love that. It, it's just basically, unless there's something else to give these guys a uh, mortal wound save, it's just disproved the effectiveness of these guys. For saying, oh, they're incredibly tough. You know, you can chuck them into the thickers of fighting. Really, you'll send three of these into, I don't know, two terrorists. One, ter you know, they have a field day of you. So. Um, and then it, <laughs> it goes on to say that mortal wounds bypass the enemy saves. So mortal wounds make these guys crap, which is, it's weird how, yeah. Anyway, so, um, it says useful for dislodging powerful units, heroes and monsters, um, who often head into battle with heavy armor, like these, um, eliminators of their own but it says limited uh, eliminators don't just deal mortal wounds when they arrive on the battlefield they can potentially land even more in the midst of the fight in two okay so let's see what this says so um is that the okay no so there's more down there thought that was the bottom but it says force of a fallen star so after this unit makes a charge move you can pick one enemy unit within one inch of this unit and roll a number of dice equal to the unmodified charge for that charge move Subtract one from the roll if this unit only has two models. Subtract two from the roll if this unit only has one model. For each four plus, that enemy unit suffers more to win. So you just chuck in more, more wins to the enemy. And it is good because it, you know, like I was saying, the, the three attacks, you know, ten attacks, you've got unit three because the champion, like they've said. Um, threes and threes minus one, two damage isn't bad, but it's not. Uh, just reading this, you know, my first reaction and stuff, it's not gr great. There's better things out there. Um, so the mortal wounding they can do can stack up. Um, yeah. Uh, so I just want to read this again. So after this unit makes a charge move, you can pick one enemy unit within one inch uh, and roll a number of dice equal to the unmodified charge roll. For the okay, yeah. So if you get a high charge as well, you know, you could get quite a few mortals wounds through that. But it says rumours abound in the mortal realms that eliminators are unkillable. Jesus Christ. You know, they're not unkillable. Just chuck more wounds at that. I've seen nothing to say they've got more wounds safe. Uh, but it says, while that's not strictly true of the paladins available to Stormcast Eternals, eliminators are the most durable and they look fantastic too. There's a reason we put them on the poster for the new edition after all. I just think they look incredibly bad. Like, they just look so ugly. Um, there's worse of things in the game, you know, in terms of looks and stuff, and you guys might really like them. So if you do that, that's great for you, but I just, it's just, it's just like a brick. It, compared to how slender the other ones are, and I know they said that, you know, these guys are like juggernauts. They are men to look like that, and I get it. I just don't like what they were going for. But it says, the Dominion comes with three of these hefty hammers, 
uh, hammerers. So ready to beat some orcs or anyone else foolish enough to get in their way. Honestly, just going to chuck a terror glass at these guys um, into a swamp stinking gulp. So if you haven't already signed up for the newsletter, blah, blah, blah. You don't want to miss any news and announcements uh, on the next edition. It says stop back tomorrow to learn how endless spells have changed in the era of the beast. Hint, they are even more aggressive. So tomorrow I'm going to be very busy, so I don't know if I'll be able to cover that. But if I can, I will do... Well, basically, I'll do my best to be able to do a video on it. Um, that's all we got here. So quite a short one, but it's just talking about one unit. Um, they're not awful. Like, they, I think they they could be good, you know. It's not like a unit you get out of a box where it's like, oh, it doesn't do anything. No, they, they can do some more wound output. You know, their damage isn't bad. Um... It's just how they go on about how survivable they are. Um, but they haven't got a mortal wound save, as far as we're aware. And also in this article, they say how good mortal wounds are for killing things just like this. So, a little, feel, a little bit feels like the, the contradiction themselves a little bit in this article. Um, but you know that. We, we love Games Workshop for that, don't we? So, um, yeah, I wish they just told me about something more. Like, I... I think maybe it's the shoulders. Like they just feel. I don't know. Like maybe I'll like them, but mm, no. I, like the artwork as well. Like again, I'm sure the artist who did this is absolutely incredible. You can tell it's a very good artist. But I, they just brings out everything I don't like about these models. Uh, but that, that's all I really got to say of it. Um, I will say though, like what I do like is the shields look awesome and the hammers look awesome. That's my thoughts on that. Um, but with that, guys, that is the end of the video. So let me know in the comments down below what you think about the rules we've got for these eliminators. Are you excited? Do you feel like they'll just die to mortal wounds? Let me know that in the comments. So it'd be great to hear. If you did enjoy the video, all I ask you guys to do is smash the like button. That massively helps out the channel. It's absolutely free to do so. And also, if you could smash the subscribe button if you haven't already, as that is how the channel grows at the end of the day. And I know a lot of you people have been doing it lately, but still only about a fifth of people who watch my content subscribe. So if you have not subscribed to my channel and you're watching this now, it would mean the world to me if you could press that subscribe button. Absolutely free, really easy to do so, and it's absolutely fantastic. And it's how the channel gets better. And then the bell notification. So you press the subscribe, you press the like as well, because by liking the video, it shows to me that you like this sort of content and YouTube sees people liking it and tries to recommend it to people. So now that you've liked and subscribed to the channel, if you could do me an absolute delight by smashing the bell notification. So again, best thing about that, it's free. Second best thing, Massey helps out the channel. So by doing that, it means that you won't miss the future one of my videos, especially if you're enjoying one of the series I'm doing at the moment, or a lot at the moment, all this news coming out and stuff. If you wanna make sure that you don't miss out on my reaction and reviews to it, make sure you press that bell notification, absolutely smash it. And if you feel like you know someone who will enjoy this video, make sure you share it with them as well. And if you would like to become part of the Ages of uh, Nagash community, I have got a link to my Discord in the description of this video where we have something like 270 members. And it's an absolutely fantastic community. There's loads of uh, conversations always going about um, firstly, like getting into the hobbies, we have a lot of new people who join, but we also have things like on painting, gaming, and then so much news on the uh, Dominion Boxer and obviously all the news coming out for Warren Mage Sigma. So make sure you join the community of Asian Agash. You won't forget it or regret it either. And um, the other thing I want to say as well is if you'd like to support the channel that step further, you can become one of these amazing people. So these are my patrons and my YouTube members who, because of them, I am able to make content to try and help you guys get into Age of Sigma and continue Age of Sigma journey. If it wasn't for these guys, I wouldn't be able to do my YouTube channel because essentially the amount of time and effort and resources and stuff you put into YouTube, none of it's profitable or anything like that. So I wouldn't be able to justify doing this if I didn't have people supporting me this much on a personal level. So a massive shout out to these people for being absolutely amazing. If you'd like to become one of them and be that great of a person, click the join button next to the subscribe button. It'll allow you to become a member here on Asian Agash where you can basically just give one pound a month, go straight towards the channel, keeps me going, keeps the channel going. And if you would like to support on Patreon instead, there's a link to my Patreon at the top of the description down below. Click that link, take to my Patreon. You can give anything for just one dollar a month. Honestly, like I said, it wasn't for these people, wouldn't be able to do it. So if you're watching this at the moment and you feel like you know anything you can give to help out, I would absolutely find that amazing. But my biggest supporter is going to be my Vampire Lord on a Zombie Dragon. So this is going to be Philco. So Philco is my top supporter. He's been supporting me for quite a while now, especially at the Vampire Lord and Zombie Dragon tiers. Absolutely amazing, Philco. Please give up. I really, really massively and hugely 
helps the channel. So thank you so much. And then my Morgas, who's bleed red. So thank you so much for your continued support, mate. As I know you've been a Morgas for a long time now. And then my loyal and trusty vampires, who some are new and some have been here since really I started doing this. So the oldest amongst the vampires is going to be Mir. Then we've got Stents. Then we've got Rouse 321, David A, Dragoonie. Uh, bloody hell, I always say this one wrong. I don't know why. So we've got Dragoon Itty. Dragoonity? Sorry. I mean, honestly, I don't know what's wrong with me. I've said it about three times now, but <laughs> so sorry about that. But we've got then Ronnie H, Darren L, Spare Bear, Christopher H, North Drop, Nathan F, Andrew G, Ben C, and Wiggy uh, Hootie or Wooty. So I just want to say a massive thank you to all my vampires, but a particular thank you to uh, Wiggy because he is absolutely brand new. So he has became a Agent Nagash uh, YouTube member and he has decided to become a vampire. So thank you so much for your help on that, mate. Thank you so much for deciding to support the channel in that way. And I can tell you, you won't regret it. It's going to make a huge difference. So thank you so much. And then my necromancers, who is Jack L, Radiation Riley, AW77, Dice Sagas, Wolf Nick, Michael W, Cranky Wombat, Madcap, Crystal C, Crystal F, James S, Thomas B, Steve T, James T, Patrick F, JJ, R Christopher, and Seption. So thank you so much all for your continued support and allowing me to help spread the community that we all love and enjoy. If, like I said, if anyone would like to become one of these amazing people, make that decision, click the join button or the link to my Patreon down below. It would be amazing. But if you can't do that, no worries at all. All I ask if you do enjoy this video, like I say, smash the like button, the subscribe button and the bell notification. Free, really easy clicks and it massively helps out the channel. Absolutely free to do so. That would be amazing if you could do that as well. And um, above that, Really, to be honest, I'm mainly glad that you came and watched this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts on the topic down below in the comments. It'll be great to hear and read that. And until next time, guys, remember to stay safe, stay hygienic, wear a mask, and for God's sake, wash your hands, because it means if your hands are washed, when you go to play with your Eliminator models, the enemy will not chuck more wounds at you. It just won't happen. So that's a great tip to do that. But above everything else, guys, more importantly, is remember until next time, that Nagash is all, and all is one in Nagash.